Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3. It is time for us to take care of that second generator. So we can get rid of the shield that's protecting the Leviathan Seed that's making Briu all bad and Faison-y and awful. Oh, hold on. All I heard was time to drop some more bombs! Uh, yeah, we, we did get ship missiles last time, too. Uh, we have to... We, we, we can drop bombs now. We can now call in airstrikes in certain places. And we're gonna need to do that, too. Yep. Uh, yes. we, got, we got airstrikes planned today, believe me. Alright. Is it ever explained why we can't just drive over where the generators are and drop bombs there? Instead of landing and then calling in our ship? You know, that's a good point. Why don't we go find out? There actually is an explanation. Oh! All right, let's jump back into it. Destroy, destroy. So we are here at, uh, I guess the Brio jungle, I'd call this. They just call it Brio. But... Jungle-y area, yeah, something like that. Oh yeah, we still need to explore this place. Yep. So we haven't gotten too far. We needed the ship missile to get kind of to make any kind of headway in here. Mm -hmm. and it's good, too, because this is where a lot of space pirates are. Like, this is probably their main base of operations. And a lot of them are going into hyper mode. And the rule is, if something is made of Phazon, you need Phazon to kill it. I can't wait until we reach an area where there is... where there are pirates that can only be killed by Phazon and pirates that cannot be killed by Phazon. Just a regular energy beam will do it. That doesn't make sense... It's a shield here, be which interesting. You, what you do is you blow this bit up, that bit up right there. There's a ball tunnel. I don't think I would have been able to find that. Your scan visor would have helped you greatly. That'll do it. If it seems like I'm just doing stuff out of nowhere, scan visor would, will tell you a lot of things. And we turned the door off. Who the hell left the hole, the ball-shaped hole in the wall? You know, don't you think somebody will come in through there? Or? Well, it's because, oh, it was behind a, uh, a, uh, a, a like a blast shield or a something. A bit of wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking when they put the put that shield up, I was like, there's a tunnel here. That's probably nothing. <laughs> and that's why space pirates are always dumb. Just ignore it. What if one pirate actually installed that? It's just like, I want the local wildlife to come in. They're so cute. Oh, you mean the, the deadly flies that are coming? Yes! I want to pet them! They I, deserve pets. I, I feel like Dark Samus is uh, running a tight ship here. <laughs> All idiots get sent out of the airlock. <laughs> this is one of those jamming beacons. So we take care of that, and we use this... ...to blow open this door. Context sensitive. Clever. <laughs> yes! Revealing some new enemies, or rather, an old friend. Oh, hello! It's the Berserker Knight! Wasn't that our first boss? So now he's an actual enemy, and he's twice as dumb now. Nice! Oh yeah, twice as dumb. We got an assault pirate troop back there, too. Okay, I think we can manage this. If you ask about Phazon, that guy is, uh, cannot be hurt by missiles. Mm, so okay. we, we got a guy who uh, is, rel is uh, resistant to, to missiles, and a guy who's resistant to beams. Did you just knock him back with a beam? Well, yeah, he's, he's a punk. I, I kind of love that you kind of plinked it off of him and boink! Oh, th this big guy is not the biggest threat. It's probably this guy right here. Probably guys that can only be hurt by one specific thing. But this guy shoots out big purple balls that you need to shoot back to actually damage them. Then he has his big brain exposed, and then you fire a couple missiles and he's, 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 he's gone. I love how he's just standing there taking this like that. Ah, you thought though. So. Oh, my armor. Oh, no, oh, no, you actually did think though. So. Ah. No, no, please. Mer oh. There you go. The colors are just so distressing. Sorry, right, man. You'll make it through. We're going to need a lot of missiles here. So make sure you've been picking up your missile expansions. Yes, sir. We're going to need them. How many missiles do we need? Well, at least 50, because we got them here. You don't need 50, but the more the, the more the merrier. I was about to say, holy cow, that's a lot of missiles. Oh. Ah. 
couple of arrow troopers. Okay. Oh, I thought somebody was gonna come up from off screen with a steel chair. Ah, nothing like that. God, I kinda wanna see that. Samus is coming to the ring! Oh, Crane's coming in! Oh, it's Crane! It's Crane! It's oh, Crane with a steel oh, chair! chair! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! my god! Down go the Arrow Brothers! Oh, wait, who's that? It's Korak! <laughs> so. Oh, and Hussar with an energy lance! Oh, who's coming in through the flames? It's Gandredo! So, we have the Korak Beast here. Woo! And we got the dumbass riding him. Pirate Hussar, rider Hussar. of the vicious Korak. Okay, well... So, uh, so take out the rider. Yeah, so then it's running by itself. I saw that the Korak was uh, weak on its soft underbelly. Yes. So I'm guessing more ball bomb. Well, first he's going to open his mouth and try and eat you. Okay. He's got that tongue there. When he opens his mouth, that's when you fire the beam. But if he happens to grab you, like I'll demonstrate here in a few short seconds... Wait for it. Just shake it off! Does he turn you into a morph ball and try that? Or? Nah, he just, he, he just takes your energy. Oh. Okay. He just hoits. Maybe he does a big old shot that, that doesn't feel good either. Open up! There you go. Shoot him in the mouth and his underbelly glows. You big palooka. Drop a few bombs here. Maybe don't hit his uh, sharp tentacle there, but I don't give a shit. Didn't do as much as I thought it would. In it fact, it barely did anything. It didn't do anything, because that's not how the damage is. Well, this is probably just for, like... Bomb bombing enough, and then you can... You got this thing here. Yank that out. He turns around and exposes his heart to you! Oh! That's how you do damage! Oh. God, what a... What a design flaw for this creature. That's why you gotta do three steps to, to open it up, basically. A nice little hatch to open up your heart. I mean, it makes open heart surgery easy, but good. at what cost? Well, it's good for robots, not so much for uh, actual... Y yeah, exactly! Bio, you know, bio life forms and all that. It's like, oops, a stick got stuck in my heart hatch. Of course, I also wonder if this guy has been uh, exposed to phase on as well. The blue shield on his head kind of tips Pos me into that. Okay, yeah, possibly. Did that work? Oh, yeah, it's it did. Gl glowy blue, that could be, that could be phase on esque yeah, I think they took the scariest, most vicious beast from this planet and then pumped him full of Phazon, and then there you go. She oh, has defeated you... Korak. Oh, you guys think... Th oh, how cute. Oh, how no. Cute. Oh, no. <laughs> Still had time to backhand you with a shield, good lord. Boy, it must feel bad to be that enemy to come into the room as the boss music stops. That's got to be the p the peak yeah. of ex of uh, expendable. I'm, I'm just visualizing. Oh. oh, it does kind of feed into the desperation that space pirates have. How much more desperate could they get? I mean, they got the phone call saying we were awake. I'm surprised a lot of them didn't just put their hands up and go. Never mind. Whatever we were doing doesn't matter. So I'm thinking, chronologically speaking, this is Prime 3. Yeah. The next game would be Metroid 2, then? Because it goes... One. Z zero mission. Yep. Then Prime, Prime 1, 2, and 3. Prime 1, 2, 3. Then, what was it? Metroid, Metroid 2, 2 Super, Super, Metroid. Metroid. Super Metroid, Other M, Fusion, Dread? Sounds right. Yeah, sounds very right. So... Then, technically speaking, the space pirates go into hiding after this. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna kill the space pirates, you know, no problem. The phase ones, you know, they're gonna be decimated. Yeah, you know, while we're exterminating the Metroids, they're in hiding. Yep, so we get so we get a call from them saying, hey, go ahead and take care of the Metroids. And Ridley is, of course, probably, you know, getting ha fixed right now as we speak. Hacking in, yeah. Yes, right. Actually, that brings up a good point, because Ridley is normal in Super Metroid. Maybe he's reborn, rehatched? They made another one? Maybe... Th See, I think there's more than one Ridley. He comes from a long line of Ridleys. 
Like, like I think that all the Rillies we've been killing have been like clones of each other because they keep remaking them after all. Right. The biotic right. one. Here's one that's got biotic parts. This one made a phase on. Here's here's one like this. So, the the egg hatching on that bottle ship and uh, other M was their last ditch effort. And whatever DNA they scraped from that, they put in a petri dish and put it on the BSL. So that's why you fight Meta Ridley and Metroid Fusion. That makes sense. So, unless if he's got some other clone somewhere, they think that they can really uh, build a, another Ridley out of whatever kind of dirt and gum they got left from this one bit on my fingertip here. Well, he ain't coming back. Well, it also makes sense because we what? go. F uh oh. So if you didn't see that, uh, our gunship can't attack the generators because of anti-air uh, cannons. Time to tear them down. So we were supposed to go back and uh, you know figure that, out, but then this guy, this idiot opens the door. Letting that us. leads right to the cannons! Fantastic. Yeah, both of them opened. Wow. Incompetence. So, yeah, you can pump you, you can pump an idiot with as much phase on as they can handle, but it won't, it won't make them smart. They're still an idiot. No, but, uh, well, now that they've all in place for us, let's go ahead and take out these cannons. Yeah. So what I was thinking with the whole cloning thing is... We've had multiple instances of Fantoon, we've had multiple instances of Kraid... Like, who's saying these aren't just the same one, just remade over and over? The name Meta Ridley? Meta Ridley makes sense. Mecha Ridley, I think, is one of them. But is that the same one, or just new iterations? Like, we remade it harder, better, faster, stronger. Maybe Ridley was always like a clone, sort of half-biotic, half-mechanical yeah. me creature, and... Well, other M really throws a lot of things into a... It throws it off, yeah. Maybe that maybe that wasn't Ridley, that was like the son of Ridley or whatever. <laughs> the son of Ridley. Like it was, it was an egg that they had left over and he was uh, being kept to watch at the bottle ship or something. Well, it also doesn't make sense because Fantoon comes back in other end. Secret boss, yeah, but that's still coming back. Yeah. And then Kraid from Super Metroid comes back in Dredge. Uh, well, huge. I th well, I think he was just held at the prison at the bottom of ZDR for all this time. But didn't he, like, perish and die, or did he just go away? Well, he was hooked up to a lot of stuff in, in there, so maybe they were trying to clone him the same way they did Ridley, but it didn't work as well. Actually, and no. And then we killed him, and he sank into the lava, so... Kraid has died three times, <laughs> now that I think about it. Yep, the original and Zero Mission, and then uh, Super. Yeah. Because he got a bit bigger, then. So. Yeah, he got a bit bigger. You know who... Ah! Got... Oh, God. So, uh, to, to take out this one, we have to yank this hatch underneath, which makes the fuel cells, uh, open up. Keep firing, keep firing, it's not going down. And then we blow up the fuel cells, but they got a shield here that really drains your health, if you're not careful. But then you can yank it again. Don't bother with the space pirates, they will continue to respawn until we take care of this thing. Okay. You can get them off your back, of course, but... Where's the love... for Krokemeyer? Where's Botwoon fans now, out there? Now, I don't think that was a space pirate. I think that was just, uh... A natural monster. I think it was just some monster that the space pirates, uh... Said, hey, man, you want you want some candy? <laughs> hey, you want to be a, an honorary space pirate, but not actually? I'm gonna make you a star, kid. A steak. Or he was a space pirate, but because they... He got acided all of his flesh off, he didn't have anything to use uh -huh. to him again. Alright, that's one of the, uh, cannons down. Noise. Uh, oh, he hello, sir. Doesn't kill the space pirates, though. Boy, he was just all up in your face. Right, dude, he, he wanted to say hello in a major way. I love the animations where they, they pull out the blade after they've lost their shield. We've got a lot of great animations here. Also, I just... I, I've realized it a couple times after you've used an ice missile, but I just love the effect that the ice hits them, surrounds them, and then goes, like, freezes them. I, I, I like them to still, like, immediately get frozen, though. Because those few seconds... Yeah. Especially on those fucking warping enemies. I know. It, it hurts. Well, it didn't even seem like the teleporting enemies even froze in the first place. Like, I think it just annoyed them more than anything. Even though they're supposed to be weak to those kinds of missiles. I don't know, it's done. Mm. New scan here. Phazon fungus grows only in highly corrupted regions. Ugh. Ooh, the corruption is huge here! I mean, this is a place of pure rock and technology, and yet we have entire veins of Phazon going through. This is only bad. 
Mountains is only bad. Oh, it's everywhere. Oh, is it? Yep. I, I was okay with there being a lot of ice everywhere because I was just Rundus, but now there's a bunch of phase on everywhere. That's that's pure corruption. Yank this thing down. Make your way over here. Ball puzzle starts right up here. We solved the puzzle. And here is a ship missile expansion. <gasps> there are 11 of them. Wow. Grand total of 14? Yes. 11 plus 3? Okay. Maybe it's 15. No, no it's not. No, wait. 14. It's not right. Yeah, 11 missile tanks plus the 3 that you mentioned that we have. Yep, powered by the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Wii. Aim and fire. Oh, they got mines around yeah, here, too. Put landmines here. Pricks. Hey, I got more of these things. Hey, here. what's Joy. up, guys? Absolute nonsense. I hope I get to slash a monster in Skyward Sword like this. God, that'd be great. Uh, not, not trying to bring that up. I just love that you could tell that was a Wii gimmick. So why does this game work, but not Skyward Sword? Because it's gun versus sword. Also, it's just kind of ridiculous in Skyward Sword. I have one word written for this room. It is... Ew! This is the grossest challenge I've ever played in a Metroid game. I hate it. Bring it's it. awful, retro, never do this again. Never ever do anything like this ever again, I am begging you. So, uh, to... To make the cannon weak, we need to yank on these three, uh, cranks. Okay. That cuts off power, and it unleashes that. Do all three of them, and we can uh, shoot one of the fuel cells and go with that. Does it refresh after you shoot it a few times? So we've got these arrow pipe. There's these uh, arrow troopers, as you can see, being uh, lovely sports as they are. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to bait them here, but staying uh, as far away as possible. Being quite non-aggressive, of course. That's, that's very unusual, I'd say. Well, fine. I guess I'll let them play their way then. So that, yeah, there's three of these cranks. Got to pull them all. What these arrow troopers do though, is they go over to these places. Oh no! And they pull them back. The arrow troopers never stop coming. There's another one already. Now, fortunately, that was just them showing what they do. So if they're pulling it, you got a chance to stop them. But the thing is, they will go right for it almost every time. It will. It's. It's nonsense. And, oh, you pulled that one back. All right, oh. back to square one. Ew. Okay, I see it now. I feel it now. All right, so, pull that one. There's one. There's an arrow trooper here that's just waiting for me to move so we can move that back into place. Another one's already appeared. They move quickly so your missiles don't lock on as well as they should. You gotta basically keep an eye on them and make sure they're not going for it. If they do, you get, that's when you fire your missiles. Okay. There's another this, guy This there. is the hardest part, though, because now you got two of them. Yeah. And both of them could go for it, or one of them could go for the one that's on the other side, and this thing's in the way. Boom. There. Uh, okay, now go to your third. Using a lot of missiles. Oh, this is, oh, he's already going for it, man. All right, now go. And there's another one showing up. Go, 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 go. Yeah. There! Now it's open for good. Oh! So at least there's that. At least there's that. They're open for I... good. Now all we gotta do is just go down here. Okay. One. Now do it all over again for the second one! Two. Okay. And three. Here when I go. hear Done. you, I think do it again and do it again. Keep doing it until it until you're done. Okay, that, that wasn't that was me furiously prepared for that, though. Yeah, that wasn't nearly as bad. But still... I, I made it ew. I made it not seem as bad. But it's still bad. It's still ew. The fact that they come back so quickly, the fact that uh, it takes more than one missile to kill them, it's... It's not a good one. It's not a good one. I dislike it. Never again. Never do that again. God, I hope they do it in the next planet. I hope they do it every room from now on. Every, every single room. Every single room. fucking room. Yeah, every <laughs> Hey, you want this missile pack? Do this shit again. Oh, no. Well, we do got a missile pack coming up. Oh, sweet. Even more power. Right there. Which, by the way, 55 missiles? 
We're, what, six episodes in? Yep. It's about to be 60. You gotta wait for the... Fuel. Oh, there they are. These fuel techs come by, shoot them, and that lowers the bridge. Pump this thing up. Pump it up. Pump it up. Pump, pump it up, up the jams. Here's your missile tank. Thank you for pumping up the jams. All right. Hop. Bomb jump. There you go. That is so much more streamlined. I'm glad you actually have a bomb... Like, you can jump as well as bomb jump. It, it, it feels way better. Yes. So much better. Hey, what the? We looped around. Oh, wow. See, that's good map design. I love that shit. That's good stuff. I like that indeed. Now, the cannons are taken care of. Call in the strike. Let's call in the drones. Yes. Everybody in the establishment. Panic. Panic. Ah, that's good. And now, the shield is destroyed, leaving the way open to the Leviathan Seed and this planet's boss. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got time. We got time. I'm down for it. We got time to do it. Yeah, I'm down for it. I gathered that. I know. Who is that? Who's the actress who plays the the AI system? Because it almost it vaguely sounds like Glados's voice actress. Um. It it sounds so close, and yet I know it's not. But if it is, I'll be greatly surprised. I, I do like how you're just skipping all the pirates here. It is a woman named Lane Frazier. Lane Frazier. Other roles, or just only role? Um... Big parts and some stuff we haven't really seen yet. Uh, the most recent thing, she was uh, Miles Tails Prower in something called Sonic Rebuilt. A fan game? I, I, I don't know. Huh. She was Yura in the new Fist of the North Star series. Interesting. Bit part in a Roroni Kenshin uh, miniseries. She was Miles Tails Prower in the original Sonic movie. What? what? Come on, Sonic, let's go! Oh! Well, that's cool. Way to upgrade to it. To an artificial intelligence telling Samus, you're going to die, but it's okay. Just kill the bad lady. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Boss time. I know there's some concerns about bosses in the Prime series. We've had a series of mini bosses and a couple of minor bosses, but the actual bosses, the actual level bosses, are always multi-tiered, multi-faceted, multi-layered, and usually take a long-ass fucking time. But there won't be any boss here. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Just gonna go here, destroy the seed, and, and get out. That's all. Easy. Easy. No problem at all. Hey, does that kind of look like something to you? Looks like a phase on mine. That looks like a... Uh... That looks like a big issue. That looks <laughs> like an... Seen one. You know what this looks like? This looks like the Impact Crater from Prime 1. I think that meteor that was gonna fly into Norian was more than just a meteor. That was the Impact Crater for Norian. So it would have turned that place into a phazon ridden hellhole as well. Hmm. This is a gloop shield. Shoot the gloop and we go through. I think all the different kinds of doors are scannable. Oh, this one has a life force. Ew. By the way, visuals, 100% A+, plus, guys. Yeah. This looks awesome. You can never go wrong with the visuals in a Prime game. Retro's, retro's good on that, I've noticed. 
You know, every time we do a... Pro oh. Every That's nothing. Every time we do a Prime 3 episode, I'm just reminded that this was around the time people were just still doing camcorder Let's Plays. Uh-huh. <laughs> and seeing Metroid Prime 3 put through just a disgusting filter does not do it justice. This right here is good shit. Uh, Alright, it is a boss, you're right. Well, yeah, I, <laughs> they knew it was a boss. This is the last, uh, golem that the final Lord of Science has left. Oh, and they gave him teeth. Yeah, they gave him teeth because he's affected with phase on. So he's got these red orbs that go into his his body. This is what gives him power. We blow up the red orbs, we kill him. That's all we gotta do. Okay. Kill, the, kill the red orbs, that's it. Seems doable. That's all we gotta do is blow up the red orbs. So let's do it! This is Moganar! An ancient Reptilicus war golem! Ooh. All right, all right. He's got the stomp. He's got a big old stomp. He's got a big AOE shockwave attack. He shifts around the orbs. He's got three on the front, one on the back. Is this just so you can't focus on one and destroy it fast enough? Exactly. Except you're going to do that anyway. All right, that one's blown up. Okay, good start, good start. Is there anything you can do when you blow up the crystals? What do you mean? Like, that huge flashing opening, is that just there forever? It's just there forever, it's fine, don't worry about okay. it. We just gotta blow up these red orbs, that's all. And okay. up. Oh, it moved over there. Switch him around. Fine. Fine. That cheeky little, little, little minx he is. A little trickster guy. Oh, fella. you cheeky little bastard, you. Ow. Yeah, you gotta get the all right, now for the one in back. He likes to jump. Oh. Let me get you a look at your booty! You see that ass, girl? Yeah! Oh, oh look at one. that crystal! There's one on the back. That one doesn't move, right? I don't think it does. I mean, there's no other place for it to go unless he's got, like, a second asshole. I think it being on the back is, uh... Defensive. A, a design flaw. <laughs> so, sir... There we go. Alright, he's dead. Why is he still going? Alright, we gotta go into hyper mode and blow up those glowing bits. Because those are exposed Phazon bits now. Oh. Remember, Phazon kills Phazon. Whoa, whoa. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh. You're out of hyper mode. That claw is bad. But it can also give you, like, health and pickups and stuff like that if you need some. So there's the projectiles that you can kill. But hi hyper mode is the only way to get rid of these things. Oh, wait. He will try and grab other red orbs. Uh -uh. So you got to blow those up. Yeah, none of that, none drop, of that. Drop everything, blow those up, and he's good to go. It's not letting me. Okay, yeah, th this is this is kind of cool. See, I would have thought. Stop that jumping! They kill you. I got a phase on here. Ah, and he's got that too. Come on, man. All right, you have injected another E tank. Uh, yeah, things are gonna get dicey. I was about to say, you you, you seem to be having just a tad bit of trouble. So, whenever you blow up one of his orbs, that's when he goes into his next phase. So we've been in phase one ah! this whole time. So he does that, you gotta set bombs and blow up the the bits of phase on around his, uh, his legs there. But I thought phase on could only just be destroyed by phase. Well, it could be broken up, but not destroyed. Okay, okay. And now he's just mad at you, like, hey! Fortunately, he doesn't grow those orbs back. There's still gaping open pits of phase on, trying to be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did there? Oh! Oh! Alright. Oh, here we go. Powering up the guy! Oh, no, just take me. <laughs> that, that trudge. That is that is a man on a mission, trudge. I got to go over here to destroy the ball. This <laughs> is like go to work in the morning! <laughs> It's like he just remembered he's got to do his taxes and pick up coffee on the way to work. <laughs> just like, oh man! Yo, all right. Turn around, you big, big person, you. Let's get that one up in the shoulder. And it looks like yep. you, you can destroy the thing around it. You don't actually have to sh like hit the slam dunk. Well, if he did, when he you, if we blow this thing up, he's leaking fuel gel, which I think is what also powers him. And he also can't get those orbs back and put them back. It's like we're destroying his USB inject ports. 
My wife said I can't have cake for dinner. All right, I'm looking. Things are looking a little dire here. A little dire, I gotta admit. I mean, I'm down to one E tank, but uh, hey, look on the bright side. Now I've got two. And look on the bright side again. I'm back down to one. And look on the bright side. His back oh, is to you. Oh shit! He's That's getting, getting those again. Oh no 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 no! But on the plus side, it's more power ups that way. Yeah. Thankfully, when he does that, barely. Thankfully, when he does that, it, it just goes back into him. Come on! Oh come on! Open up! Open! Oh don't be like this! Don't be! Hit him! What did? Oh, oh! I've got one left. I've got one left. What am I gonna do? Clutch? Yeah. You need clutch? Yeah. You need clutch? Oh come on! Yes! Yeah. That's it. Like I said, destroy those four both those four orbs and that's it. Oh god! He just sneezed a whole bunch of COVID phase on on me! Corruption! Oh, it is oh no! Corruption! Oh, that ain't good. The infection got worse. And he left something behind, but uh Uh Yeah, we're starting to look pretty rough. How rough? Let's take a look, how rough. Alright, I'm good. Pretty rough. I'm good. I'm... Oh, wait, yep. nope, I'm... Blah. Yeah, pretty rough. And one of her eyes is kind of clouded over in phase on corruption. Yep. But hey, it's fine. I thought she was checking your pulse. <laughs> it's fine. Am I still alive? <clears throat> Barely. It may be low on health, but fortunately getting this heals all that, because that's just a, pu a pure icon of Phazon right there. The phase ball? Mmm! The power! <laughs> it's, it's, like, coursing through me at a very alarming rate. I'm very concerned. Take in that cloudy D. Hurting, hurting, ow. But we've got the armor suit upgrade. The Hyper Ball. The Hyper Ball. We've got Hyper Mode. Now we've got Hyper Ball. Okay. I can dig it. It's very simple. <laughs> Take these examples. All you gotta do is oh just... Oh my god. Run the Hyper Mode of the... <laughs> okay. That rules. That rules. No issues there. Unleashes a geyser of phase on into this thing. And, uh, oh. Hello there. Oh, it's a Goma! Are you my mother? Hi. I wonder if I can kill this with phase on. I sure hope I can. I got plenty to spare, so, uh, uh hey, uh, guess I'll take all this brimming phase on and use it on something. Guess I'll expel the phase on the only way I know. Blow it up! Press A to release phase on energy towards the core! What the hell? That's the power of corruption? Yeah! Alright. Uh, wait, did I get him? Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. Mother, this hurts. Please, no. I brought Mercy. you in. I brought you into this world, I'm gonna take you out of it. With that, Brio is saved. We'll see you next time.